A memory scripture from my youth is a familiar verse to many. In fact, it's a gold standard for kids memorizing scripture in Sunday schools and vacation Bible school. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. This verse is one of the anthem cries of our faith, especially in the evangelical Protestant tradition. We are saved by grace, not by good works or good nature or good attitudes or whatever plea we make on our own behalf. Salvation is the gift of God. But look at the next verse. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, that we should walk in them. Did Paul just do a 180 here? He was talking about how salvation is the gift of grace, not works, and then in the next breath, he's talking about how God has prepared good works for us beforehand to adopt as our lifestyle. Is this a contradiction? Not at all. It is important to know that Paul isn't talking about good works as some way to merit God's favor or earn our way into heaven. And there's no discussion in this passage of somehow keeping God happy. The verses before make it clear that our identity in Christ is sealed and delivered. Paul is talking about life, and by life I mean real life, full life, spirit-filled life, which the New Testament writers call Zoe. This is eternal life, and it begins today, right now in Christ. It also deepens and broadens as we experience Christ by joining him in his work in the world. The good works that Paul is talking about, this is the key. The best life is knowing Christ and walking with him, participating with him in his good works. This is the sacred irony of freedom through obedience experiencing fullness by giving everything back to him. Jesus saved us, but he doesn't just wait for us to meet him after death. He leads us by the Spirit to serving and loving and giving, and we meet him every day and join him in the daily good works he has prepared for us. I am Greg Williams, speaking of the fullness of life. Thanks for watching GCI's Speaking of Life. We hope you enjoyed it and were inspired. We'd love to connect with you, so be sure to like us on Facebook. You can also check out more on our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the most current GCI news. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.